What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit your notification bell and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. <coughs> Woo. You guys, man, I tell you, life is something. Life to me is like a, a conditional exercise that you got to continue to do every day. So, been doing good been doing very well actually with everything I want to tell you guys um, today's uh, subject matter is called home ain't what it used to be I repeat home ain't what it used to be you guys <coughs> excuse me as you guys well know and everything We have walked away from traditional home upbringing. We have walked away from the proper way to raise kids, the proper way to be married, the proper way to, uh, to treat people. That's why I like the sitcoms in the 90s. Like I said before, uh, Family Matters, uh, Robert Townsend with, uh, what is that, uh, damn. What's that show, uh, The Fan? Whatever, I can't think of the name of the, uh, of the sitcom. But uh, you know, Family Matters, Good Times, stuff like that and everything. Or even the Jeffersons. Now, the reason why I reference those, because that shows how traditional families, particularly black families, are supposed to be and everything. My favorite out of all of them, though, is Family Matters. Now, I know we know Urkel and all that, but I like and everything Carl, the uh, father, you know, the cop father. But, um, you guys, I don't want to get too far out of subject. You guys, please understand something. The way America, the way this world, have painted how families are supposed to be is completely upside down. <clears throat> I used to be, particularly when I grew up and everything. You would have a father, when it was time for dinner, the father would sit at one end of the table, the mother would sit at the other end of the table, and the kids would sit on the side and everything while the food was being prepared or been prepared and laid out on the dinner table. A lot of people tell me, oh, that's old school, that's boring, that's traditional, no, that's the right way. And then they got a problem with nowadays of you whooping and kids and everything. You guys, me personally, I'm the youngest out of all my siblings. And I can honestly say I probably got more ass whoopers than all of them, okay? And, but I didn't turn out bad. Turned out pretty well. I'm going to be going to school uh, this month, too, and everything. Be going to school. And what I've learned, you guys, and everything, <coughs> is that when you upbringing, when you bringing up a family and everything, you have to give them morals and values. You got to raise them right. And if you got to raise your children right. You got to talk to your wife right and everything. And wife have to talk to the husband right and everything. All this nonsense and everything, raising all uh, the black woman to be independent, raising the black man to survive it. There's a bunch of nonsense. And you got, the sad part about it is you got some mothers, single parent mothers that want to be single because they don't want no help from a man raising their kids. And it shouldn't be that way. We all should be working as a team. Not as individuals, but as a team. That's how it was and everything growing up. Like I told you guys, I'm 31 years old. My birthday is May 19th. I'll be 32. I know I may act or even seem older than everything, but that's because of the way I was raised and stuff that I grew up around and stuff that in my environment. I learned to appreciate stuff because I didn't have much stuff growing up. Kids that have everything don't appreciate stuff the way they should. So, you know, it all depends on how you grew up and things you <coughs> were exposed to and how your parents raised you. But please understand something, y'all. We need to get back to being a family. We need to get back to sitting at the table and talking to each other. We need to get back to, and everything to showing love to one another. Not sitting on your phone, not sitting on your iPad, not sitting on a video game, not watching TikTok, not doing that, but sitting there and talking and communicating with each other. That's the problem and everything. America have created so many different ways to stop families from coexisting with each other. Got all these damn distractions and everything. We need to get back to the basics because the way a family's supposed to be is first of all the man is the head of the house 
He's the father. He's the provider. He's the protector and everything. That's how it's supposed to be done. Remember, a man has four jobs if he has a family. Protect, provide, pray, and please. That is his four jobs, particularly in everything, you know, with his family in the inside of his house. Okay, man, you are the you are the captain of the ship. And that don't make women, that don't make you less than a man or nothing like that. I know a lot of y'all may say, oh, I don't need no man to be doing it. I can handle myself. I'm independent. Well, you go ahead with that mindset, sister. Go ahead with that mindset. Let me know how, how where he gets you at. Because at some point in your life, you're going to need a man that is not related to you. So all that crazy talk, all this nonsense going around and everything, that we can do this ourselves and all that and everything, that ain't how it's supposed to be. A family, like I said, consists of a man who's the head of the house and everything, a woman who's the queen of the house and his and his and hers kids. The man's supposed to be the disciplinary. He's supposed to make sure that homework's done. The wife's supposed to make sure the house is clean and how the man's supposed to make sure and everything. I mean, you guys can tag team how you want to do it as far as the income and paying for bills or cleaning the house or whatever. But y'all do it as a team, though. Don't sit there and say, well, woman, you got all the chores in the house, and man, you got all the bills in the house. Do it as a teamwork. Because you with the teamwork, you make the dream work. And teach your kids and everything, not how to be... Teach your kids, not how to be roommates, but how to be, you know, how to live on their own. Teach kids that and everything. Don't just sit there, just don't keep teach a kid nothing, then he or she turn 18, just throwing them out of the house. Then they go out there and fail, go out there and get in trouble or get killed. Now you want to see her cry and whine and everything. Remember, your kids are a product of you. If your kids don't respect you and everything, I are you don't respect your parents. So let's let's cut all this nonsense out and everything. Bring up a child the way they should go, and when they get old, they won't depart from you. Hold on one second. I'm just letting you guys know and everything. You gotta watch, you gotta bring the kids up right. Don't bring them with all this mess on TV. Little kids don't know what they want to be. They want to fight. They want to act crazy and all that and everything. That's not how no family supposed to be. Me and nowadays and everything, they don't want to work. They too damn pretty to get their hands dirty. You got women and everything too damn masculine to put on a dress and everything. We got this upside down. That is not how no family supposed to be, y'all. A family consists of, like I said, a man and a woman and their children. Let's cut all of this craziness out. Who don't need who? Who don't need anything? Bring up a family the correct way. When you say the kids to be in, be in the house at a certain time, by you being a father and you're there and everything, that's what you're supposed to implement. They ain't in that house, tear their ass up. Got mine tore up. I ain't out there slanging and acting a fool or your statistical black man. I'm just telling you anything, whoop your child's ass. You got all these kids walking around here, excuse me, all these kids walking around here and everything, acting crazy and doing stuff and everything, hurting their parents. One boy shot his mother and everything over some uh, money. One boy uh, shot his mother because she told him to go do dishes. One the girl uh, fighting the father and everything. You guys, that ain't how no family is. In the old days, you did something like that and everything, the parents would have killed you. Kids are getting out of control and everything because the parents then put barriers around them. You got to let your kids know and everything, I'm not tolerating your behavior. Remember, whatever you tolerate out of your child, that is what they're going to continue to do. And same thing with your spouse. Man, whatever you tolerate from your wife that you don't like, that's what she's going to keep doing. And vice versa. One uh, woman, whatever you tolerate from your husband, that's what he gonna keep doing. So don't get mad and frustrated with them because they're doing stuff and saying stuff or arguing or acting a fool and everything. Because you gotta remember when they do it the first time, you gotta nip it in the bud. I ain't say cuss somebody out or domestic dispute or some fighting or acting crazy, but you sit down there and say, hey, I ain't like how you talk to me. And if you don't change and everything, ain't gonna be no me and you. That goes for both man and woman. So let's get it together and everything. Let's cut all this nonsense about and everything that a family consists of a single parent mother doing it, doing it for her kids. You run the man off and everything, and he is legitimately trying to be a part of the family or part of the child's life. You go run him off because you want to be misindependent. 
Not because he a bad father or a bad man, because he wouldn't, you wouldn't be misindependent. You wouldn't show the world, yeah, I raised two kids by myself without no man's help. See, that's what I'm saying. We have, it's messed up in here, y'all. If you wonder why the kids are messed up, because the parents are messed up. That's why. There's not proper raising. We try to look for social media, the streets, society, old crazy talking celebrities and everything. to try to raise your kids. And for you parents and everything who try to live the high life. And what I mean by that is and everything, you stand, you at work more than you are at home. And you, you don't know what your kids getting into. Your son or your daughter. But you, but you try to live in that nice house, which I can understand. Nothing wrong with having nothing nice. Don't get me wrong. But you living in that grand big old nice house knowing damn well it's over your means. But you're going to keep working yourself down to the, to the bone to have the house and everything. And your kids, you come home next thing you find your son smoking weed. I didn't raise you like that. You went home to raise them. And let's cut all this material stuff out. Everybody got to have be materialistic. Everybody got to have the latest shoes, the latest gear, the latest shirts, the latest pants, the latest necklace, the latest hairdo, and everything. Who cares? Stop getting caught up in material stuff, y'all. You ain't can't take none of that stuff with you when you die. When you die, you're gonna be come out of your, you're gonna be in your birthday suit, the same way you came down here. Butt naked. Can't take no jewelry, no money, no car, no nothing. So why keep working up and keep working up material stuff, knowing that you can't take it with you? You got some people so stingy with money and everything, they won't give you a dime. They got a million dollars in their pocket. Asking you, well, how come you don't have no money? What's wrong with people, man? We got to get back and everything to being a family. Get back to talking to each other, praying with each other. A family that prays together stays together. A family that uh, falls apart and everything, they just done. We got family backbiting other family, family cheating on with family and all that. Just craziness. We don't know how to be no family out here. Then you wonder why the kids so crazy. We got parents running around doing crazy stuff behind their husband back, uh, doing stuff behind their wife back and everything. Then you wonder why the kids repeat the same behavior. You wonder why kids run around acting crazy. You wonder why your son run around acting, acting a fool, getting smart with your, with your wife. Man, you are the you are the response and heir of that house. Anything goes wrong in that house and everything, you are the one that's supposed to fix it. You are. Not society, not the police, not the pastor. You are. We don't, but we don't want to do that now. Nowadays, we want to be sissies. We walk around switching. Run around doing this, run around doing that and everything. That ain't no man. That's a damn punk. Same thing with you ladies. I hear so much, oh, I hear so much about how much y'all get tired and, and don't need no man to do nothing for you. You so sick of us. Oh, you so sick of us. But yet you were the first one to all uh, to commit sin. Yet you were the first one in everything who ate the fruit. But you so sick of us, though. We ain't about nothing. What's wrong with everybody, man? Sisters, you, you do need somebody. I hate to break the news to you, but you do. Oh, I got this. I don't need no man. Okay. Hope you don't need a man's help one day. And I ain't talking about nobody you related to. Or nobody you know. You don't know what gonna happen. Let's cut all this nonsense out. All this hatred and bitterness and everything in this world. Worshiping up idol gods. Worshiping up material stuff. Then you wonder why stuff goes south. Bring up a family, y'all. Let's get back to being a family. Let's stop just being a bunch of collective group of people. Mothers, watch how you act, you act around your daughters, your sisters, your granddaughters. If you run around being a slut in the street, what the hell do you expect her to do? If you run around drinking and smoking and got to every Tom, Dick, and Harry and in and out of the house, what do you expect her to do? Monkey see, monkey do. Same thing with you, fathers. If you run around here uh, selling drugs and acting, frank, and acting crazy and game banging, what do you expect your son to do? What do you expect your son to do? If you running from the law, every time we turn the news on there, your ass is running, ducking, and hiding from the police. Acting a fool. When we gonna grow up? When we gonna grow up, man? You 50 and 60 years old still trying to act like you 20. I, let me see if I still got it. 
What's wrong with everybody, man? Don't nobody know how to even be a human being no more. People need to wake up and realize and everything that we need to get back to being a family. The, the correct way. Not no damn two men, not no damn two women. The correct way. We're a man and woman and kids. That's what we need to get back to. That's what we need to speak about. That's what we need to talk about. But like I said, well, nobody want to talk about that. Well, nobody want to hear that. Everybody want to talk about everything but what's really going on. Like Marvin Gaye said, what's going on? What's going on? You tell me what's going on. Things ain't what it used to be. Families ain't what it used to be. So I'm just telling you guys, get it together. Get it together, y'all. Get back to being a family. Get back to being a family. Women, get back to wearing dresses. Don't be coming out. Don't don't get mad at the man because you coming outside and everything looking all wild and everything tight dress, tight clothes and everything, and you think that's gonna get a man. But that's the very damn thing you criticize us about when we approach you. How you how you carry yourself, that's what you're going to attract. And for my little bougie women and everything who didn't had everything, who don't know what it is to go through certain things and everything, you need a wake up call. Somebody need to put you in your place. And what I mean by that is somebody remind you that you're still black. Yeah, you can be educated. I get all that and everything, but somebody still remind you that you're still black. But sometimes people need a reality check. They do, because they get to talking because you didn't come from the same place or they weren't born and raised in the hood. They don't know what it is to go to bed without eating and all that and everything. They look at they look their nose down at you. Who is you? Ugh. And then when something bad happened, you want to tell all oh, you, oh, that was wrong. She was a good girl. No, she was. She was disrespectful. So, I'm just letting you guys know. I just had to get that out there and everything. Let's get back to being a family. Cut all the phoniness. Cut all the fake stuff. Let's get back to being a family. It's Beretta 19, and I'll holler at y'all later and everything. Please be blessed out here, y'all. And like I said before, I don't promote hate. I ain't anybody, anybody trying to tell nobody to live their life. And nobody trying to, you know... Force nobody to do something. I'm just challenging you as a human being, as a man and as a woman, to be better than what you are. To bring awareness and everything to stuff that you have become either numb or blind to. Everybody didn't have it like you. And no, that's not your fault, but I'm just telling you. Start caring for once. Stop being so damn arrogant and so uppity. Okay, you got your education. Go teach another young black brother how you got it. Okay, you got that degree and everything. Go teach another young black sister how you got it. And cut all this stuff out. We don't need a man. We don't need a woman. Cut that crap out. Yes, you do. In order to make a child, it's going to take a man and a woman. All this BS you see nowadays, two men having a child or two women having a child. No, the hell they ain't. It ain't right. It ain't right. Sporetta 19. Am I, you think I'm BSing you or am I telling the truth? Get it together. Let's be a family the right way, not the wrong way.